Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Are you enjoying your time out here oh, at the I park? I love it here in the park. What was this? Yesterday we had a squirrel jump up <laughs> right in front of us. I don't know if it made the, me or the film, but anyway, it's a big one. It had a big furry tail. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice to see the people out there enjoying the park. This is, this. by the way, this is St. Gabriel, uh, San Gabriel's Park here in Georgetown, uh, just down from the rec center. And it is a beautiful, beautiful yes, park. Is. I'll tell you, beautiful the one thing city about the city of Georgetown is they do a great job on their parks, I believe. You yes, know. all these big trees yes. around here. Yes, amen. Beautiful river flowing behind us. Yes, San Gabriel River. I'm not San sure Gabriel. which river. Yeah, I believe it. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's the north or the south, but um, yeah. It's a river. Well, it's, a river. <laughs> it's a river. Well, hey, listen, the title of our, of our devotion this morning is Don't Let Go of the Word. You know, I, I guess every time I think about don't let go of the word, I think of Mark chapter 4. And, and if you've ever read Mark chapter 4, it's about the sower and the seed. And one of, and one, and one of those things it says is the thief comes to steal the word, you know, when it falls on the ground. And you and I are the ground. The word of God is the seed right. and what it does in our lives. And, and of, the three, of the four there, only one produces 30, 60, and 100 fold. But I've got good news for you. No matter what your ground is like today, it can be changed and be that 100 fold return. That's Amen. Right. Amen. That's well, we've Amen. got another scripture for you today. Is, Isaiah 55 11. It said, It's the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Praise God. Amen. Well, Speak that word out. Well, don't you think, Marcia, the biggest battle that we face in our lives is not only just speaking the word, but actually believing the word in our mind. You know, we, the Bible says we're to renew our mind, uh, Romans 12, renew your mind uh, to the word of God. That's how we begin to understand the will of God, the plan of God, the purpose of us here uh, through, through renewing our minds to the word of God. But we're bent negative. I, I believe people are bent negative. Well, it's, it's that, it's pre, that Adamic. Uh, yes, that Adamic nature. nature yes, is. absolutely. And uh, that's just. And how many years did you go? Uh, uh, you were a Christian. Bent negative. Bent, bent <laughs> negative, and then all of a sudden you get in the Word. You get born yes. again. I mean, you get spirit filled. You get in the Word, and you find out that the Word changes things. But it's got, and, but you have to get that in your mind mm -hmm. to change your, uh, to renew your mind so that you can believe the word. Don't well, you agree? Well, David said this right here. He said, I hide your word, God, in my heart that I might not sin against you. Mm -hmm. But we know that we can't take the word and just stick it in our heart. No, you can't. Yeah. Or, or just speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. It's, it's there's another process to that. Right. Another part of that process, right? That's right. It has to go into our mind. We have to read that. We have to meditate on it. Right. David said this right here. He says, he says, I meditate. I mutter on the things of God. You know, walking around chewing on them. And I believe that's the way we get things in our mind. But you know, the devil will lie to you. He'll tell you the word's not working. Yeah. He'll tell you you're not healed. Yeah. He'll tell you your finances aren't going to come in. But you know, the thing we have to remember mm -hmm. is that doubt and unbelief have to come out so we can receive. Yes. And the thing is, what we need to know is when we speak the word, if we just leave it with God and cast our care over him and leave it with him, that the word is the one doing the work. Amen. Not, not us. us. We don't have not to us. do anything but just trusting and believing. We don't have to perform the word, do we? No, we he just does have to the speak word. the word. He that's does right. The word. That's right. He is the word. That's why that's why Paul in this and when he gives us the armor of God, he says the helmet of salvation. And a lot of people think that has to do with being born again. It does not. The helmet in a soldier was to protect his head. You know, his right. mind. That's why the Word of God, spiritually, we need to protect our mm -hmm. minds. That, that goes, Marcia, to what we read or what we watch. I mean, because all of that is input yeah. into our lives. Yeah. And, and, you know, we go to church, you know, maybe once or twice a week, you know, but we turn on our TVs every day. Well, which one do you think is going to have the greater input into your mind? Which one's going to change your time, mind thinking? The more time you yeah. put into something, which one do you yeah. put more time into? 
And so if, if you're not studying the word on yeah. your own on a daily basis, you're not going yeah. to grow like yeah. you need to grow. I think that's the I mean that challenge. doesn't mean you're going to hell, it just means you're not gonna have the victory in this life that yeah. God wants You're to not grow. gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to do the things right. that God uh, says he can do. I think we have to remember that when Jesus talked to Satan, he didn't just talk to him, he said it, it is, is written. written. Yeah. And then he spoke to Satan yeah. about what is written in the word. So if we don't study the word, we're not going to know. The word's not going to be down in our heart yeah. to where we can say, Satan, it is written, I am healed. Boy, I wish I had time, Marcia, this morning to just talk about uh, what, what, what Satan did with Jesus is that he manipulated he the did. word, you know, and it's kind of like healing. Well, we believe in healing, and the devil say, "Well, sure, of course you do, but just not for you." You know, no, it's not this time. Or not this time. You know, and that's the way he manipulates the word of God. Yeah. Don't let the devil manipulate the word of God in your life. Amen. Yeah, you stay true. Okay. Let the word fight its own fight, and it will whip the devil every time. That's a great right. statement. Let's say it again, okay? Let the word fight its, its own fight, fight, and let it, it and it'll whip, whip the, the devil, devil every time. time. God bless.